In this guide, I'll walk you through how to set up conditional formatting so that each row in a table changes color depending on the status selected in a drop down menu in just one column. Let's say I'm a manager in charge of a team who works cases that have a specific due date. I want to be able to easily track their progress. In column A are the case numbers, and column B are the dates that those case numbers were created. And in column C, I have a drop down option where my team has some options. If they need to append the case number to look at it at a different time, they can choose Pend from the drop down. If they were able to complete all tasks that needed to be completed on the case, they can mark Complete in the drop down. I want to color code the table so that each line changes colors based on what is chosen in the drop down menu. If the drop down is blank, I want the entire line to show up pink. If the drop down says Pending, I want the entire line to automatically show yellow. And if the drop down says complete, I want that entire line to turn light green. Let me show you how to do that. First, let's set it up so that the lines are pink if the drop down is blank. To do that, I'll highlight the entire table. If you'd like to, you could highlight the entire columns A, B, and C here. But for this example, I'm just going to highlight the cells that I want to change colors. So I'll select cells A2 through C24. Now, from the format drop down, in the menu bar, I'm going to select Conditional Formatting. A side panel should pop up on the right side of Google Sheets. From there, you should be on Single Color up here. The Apply to Range should already say A2 through C24. Now, from the Format Rules dropdown, I'm going to select Custom Formula Is. You'll notice some of your cells turn green, but we aren't done yet. In the Formula bar where it says Value or Formula, You'll type the equal sign followed by a dollar sign. Then you'll type C2 followed by a colon, then another dollar sign, then the letter C, then another equal sign, and then two quotation marks. Now choose light pink or whatever color you want to choose from the paint bucket. Essentially by typing equals C2 through C with the dollar signs, you are telling Google Sheets to look at one line at a time in column C. By typing the equal signs with the two quotes behind it, you are telling Google Sheets to look for cells that are blank. That's what double quotes means in Google Sheets language. If that's all the case, then turn each line within range A2 through C24 light pink. You can see that that's now happening in our table. Now I can just press done. Now let's create conditional formatting to change each line yellow if the employee turns the drop down to pending. To do that, after you've selected the same range, A2 through C24, you can either click on the Format dropdown and then Conditional Formatting again, or in most cases, the Conditional Formatting panel is probably still up on the right hand side of Google Sheets. You should be able to just click on Add Another Rule. Change the dropdown to say Custom Formula Is, then start by typing equal sign followed by a dollar sign, then type C2, then add a colon. Then add another dollar sign followed by the letter C. Now add another equal sign. And then inside of two quotes, type the word pending. It's important that whatever you type inside the two quotes matches exactly what you have in the drop down menu. Once you have that typed out, change the paint bucket to yellow. Then press done. Now when you change one of the drop downs to pending, the line should turn yellow. Let's do the same thing to turn the line green if the drop down says complete. I'm going to open up the yellow conditional formatting and I'm actually just going to copy the formula from there and adjust it in a new rule. So once I've opened it up, copied the formula and hit done, I can highlight the range A2 through C24 again and then click on add another rule. Then just select custom formula is from the drop down and then paste the formula into the formula bar. Now, I just need to replace the word pending with the word complete. Just make sure again it says exactly what your drop down says. Choose whatever color green you like for the complete lines, then press done. Now, when you choose complete from the drop down, you'll see that the entire line changes to green. And there you have it. With just a few steps, you now have a visually organized table that updates automatically based on case status. This color coding system makes it easier to manage your team's workload at a glance, ensuring no case is overlooked. Try implementing this on your own workflow and see how much more streamlined your case tracking becomes.